This video is brought to you by Sony. Learn what happens when artists meet engineers. What's up everybody, I'm Greg Miller and this is the Tech Tower Scott Lowe. Today we're here to talk to you about wearable tech. What it is, where it's going, and when you can actually buy it. But of course, stay through this entire video for your chance at a Sony prize package. Now Scott Lowe, Merriam-Webster in her very, very good dictionary, describes wearable tech. I don't know what wearable tech is. Uh, there is no formal definition, <laughs> so you're in luck. Okay, you know, good, yeah, good, yeah. Good. It's, it's, it's kind of loose and, and fast right sure. now. But uh, the entire concept is like something like a smart watch or a pair of glasses that presents okay. data and information, very future-like, uh, you know, in a device that you would otherwise kind of use in your day-to-day -day life. So a pair of glasses, a pair of uh, smart watches, a fuel band, whatever. Okay, okay. Yeah. It, it, it sounds like it could easily be some fad, some nothing that we shouldn't be making a video about. So Ashton tweets and says, in your opinion, do you think this type of tech will be commonplace in a few years the way cell phones have become? Yeah, absolutely. Really? I, I, I've, I, you know, at CES, they were a big talk topic and we talked about them a lot mm -hmm. and a lot of the feedback we got was like why would I want this I could just pull out my smartphone you know like it's not that hard but like that's the type of response you get from any like kind of new kind of crazy idea and technology and then a couple years later everybody's like oh this is great and it is one of those things you have to try to really understand like of course like is it something you want to go out of your way to spend a ton of money on maybe not but like the convenience of being able to read text on your wrist or you know uh, not have to like pull out your phone in that same way it's, it's kind of helpful when you use it like uh, for more than just a couple of minutes. All right, well, like you said, I have a smartphone. Yeah. Walk me through how wearable tech on my face could help me. Yeah, so the biggest, like, uh, most notable example right now is Google Glass. Oh, Google which, Glass, you oh, say, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's <laughs> happening. Now I can see I am the future. Yeah. This is you, everybody, in a few years. <laughs> so Google is really uh, kind of spearheading this idea of, like, something that you wear on your face, right? they are really kind of just going head first with it. Last year they introduced what, what this is, which is called the Explorer Edition, which is just like, they only made a couple hundred, of, you know, maybe a couple thousand of these to send out to people who applied, like there's this big elaborate process, so it's right. not like a consumer level product, and it's actually really cost prohibitive right now, it's like about $1,500, so it's like, it's not... It's a pretty uh, penny for some yeah. sunglasses. Right, but then it's, it's, it's all in the effort of bringing it into a more accessible consumer range. Honestly, how many years away are we from having a pair of glasses that look normal like mine yeah. that actually have Google Glass it's, in them? It's hard to say. I mean, right now, like, the, the big challenge is obviously fitting, you know, a battery uh -huh. a processor, you know, the whatever, the projecting lens, whatever it is, into a normal sized pair of glasses. But we're moving closer to that. Like, uh, at the, the CES, like, Sony introduced this uh, kind of concept prototype that they're doing called the eyeglasses, and it's like, uh, you know, it looks more like a pair of glasses, a little bulkier, but sure. like, it's it's getting there. You know, it could be five years, it could be 10 years, but like, as far as like, reaching that ideal. I was hoping you're gonna say like, three, like, we already have the batteries and the processors so small for the phone. I mean, it, it could be, I mean, that, that's the thing. Like, it, it, we haven't really seen a ton of it. Google, again, is like really the only big company that's really kind of, pushing forward in a big, big way. Sure. Uh, but they are, you know, they've got partnerships with uh, Warby Parker, who's like renowned for, you know, cheap, accessible, uh, stylish glasses okay. for a consumer version. So like, it's it's one of those things where like, glasses are probably the like, farther down the line uh, kind of big example of wearable, but I think more wristbound stuff is, is where the, Ooh, the... the watch. Yeah. Like this, you're wearing a Pebble right now. Yeah, so this is uh, this is the original Pebble, uh, but you know, at CES they introduced the Pebble Steel, mm -hmm. which is a kind of premium version of it, but uh, it's a pretty good example of like what, uh, you know, kind of the current, more accessible concept of a wearable is. Tyler tweets <laughs> us, he says, I have noticed in recent videos Scott was wearing a Pebble. Will he be buying a Pebble Steel? Uh, I don't know. So, so what I mean, is the difference? Yeah, honestly, it's it's really just a matter of build quality and style. Okay. Uh, you know, this is more aligned with like something like a s smart, uh, you know, smartwatch for like fitness and stuff. It's got that kind of de design. This sure. is a little more. This Pebble Steel is a little more elevated. Uh, it's got like a metal a band. Refined palette. Yes, a classy watch for a classy gentleman. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. And so, do you like this Pebble? What are you using it for? Yeah. So, I mean, it's it's one of those things that again, it's uh, that concept of you know, everything is, you know, I, I can do it all with my phone. Right. This is a really good example of like, yeah, something that's kind of cheap, accessible, battery lasts a long time, it's like seven day battery life. Um, and then I'm able to, you know, check 
text with it and realize that I don't need to answer it right away. So sure, like, I'm having a conversation with you. Like I'm getting emails as we're talking. Like, oh, and if I'm glad to see you're really committed to this video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's it's one of those things where like you turn your nose out and you're like, oh well, that, like that's just silly. Why would I need that? But as soon as you start using, it, like, oh, this is kind of fun. This kind of like this helps a little bit on a day to day. And they've actually got some new software coming out that'll allow you to do more. Like if you shake your wrist, you'll get like a Yelp recommendation nearby. Like you know, it's like go to this bar or go to this Great. restaurant. Yeah. So when I'm being held up and shake, it'll be like, oh, you should oh, go I, drink over here. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. numb the pain <laughs> at this bar. So yeah, that's a, a big example. But it's quickly going to become a crowded market. I yeah. think uh, you know, last year Samsung did something similar. They did the Galaxy Gear, which uh, was released to pretty uh, not so great reviews. Lukewarm, we call it. Yeah, yeah, pretty lukewarm. Uh, but it was a, another step forward, you know, it was, it was a little more upscale, it was a little more expensive. It was a different concept in that it wasn't so much uh, a like an extension of your phone, but rather kind of its own little thing. It had a camera in it so you could, oh, okay. you could take photos with it. Obviously it worked in, you know, kind of partnership with your phone, but it was, it was kind of more self-sustaining. And that's something I, I think we're going to see a lot more of. Like, you know, there's this ever persistent rumor that Apple is going to do it as well, that they're going to get into the same uh, smartwatch market. and. So far, the rumors have been that they're going to do, you know, an iOS-based sure. watch that kind of you control on your own. It's one of those things, like 2014 is definitely going to be a big year for wearable tech. Right, well, yeah, I'm glad you have all these fashionable examples. Yeah. You know, I only care about video games. Right. Is there any application here? There absolutely is. I mean, so Google Glass, they actually just this week uh, introduced uh, a series of gaming demos for, for how you could oh, integrate okay. that. So like. Uh, they, you can watch the video online, but it's like this concept of like a space invaders kind of thing, or mm -hmm. like you know some sort of. Uh, Am I moving my head like this? Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like you're That's seeing what I want to look like on the train. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a little silly, but it's a concept of like how that kind of augmented reality gaming can be applied. But then, as far as like something like smart watches and you know smart bands. Uh, Razer at CES, they introduced the Nabu, which is a uh, smart band. It kind of looks like the Nike Fuel Band, uh -huh. but it, it does a bit more. And what they're kind of pitching is this concept of like a gamified kind of lifestyle tra like tracker. So, okay, okay. Uh, you know, just in the same way that you street pass with someone, like, you know, this thing could potentially gather, like, you know, if other people wearing one walks by and you like exchange information that way. Uh, and then of course there's like the athletic application. So like if you are- Which big, clearly you and I are super yeah, interested yeah, I'm, in. I'm, yeah, I'm, you know, so fit. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the big deal there is like, you know, you look at something like, uh, you know, running tracking and like, sure. if you're a big runner guy or, you know, if you uh, just want to, like the Fitbit concept uh -huh. of like, you're just tracking everything you do and knowing how much energy you've burned and like kind of tracking your, you know, food consumption as a result. Like, right, helping it, you out with yeah. the thing that's kind of hard to do. Yeah, so the, the we're kind of moving past that in, in combining the smartwatch and the Fitband, you know, this concept of yeah. like fitness tracking and smartwatch, you know, phone integration. So. I think it's pretty exciting for as far as like wristwatches and the gamification side of things. Well, yeah. our final Twitter questions comes from Taylor. Taylor says, "What's your favorite wearable tech you've seen so far, Scott?" Ooh, I mean, as far as like raw uh, practicality and, and accessibility, I still think the Pebble is a, is mm. probably my favorite. I think it has the most promise because there is that challenge of battery life. You right. Know, like one of the biggest complaints against the Galaxy Gear was that it like died within two days, whereas this is like a full week. Because the last thing you want to do is when you're thinking about charging your phone all the time, you don't want to be charging your watch all the time sure. too. Like sure. it, that really kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I think Pebble's got a nice balance, but I, I think really, uh, you know, the ones to watch are going to be whatever Apple does because they typically, you know, take a concept like this and really make it on a big scale and people get people really excited about it. So uh, I think that's the one to kind of keep an eye on. But for now, if you're going to buy a smartwatch, I think uh, the Pebble's the way to go. All right. Thanks a lot, Scott. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the scoop on wearable tech. But what do you think of it? Let us know in the comments below. Then make sure you stay through this whole video to find out how you could win that Sony prize package. And then for everything cool, keep it here on IGN. Hey everyone, if you watch IGN videos, you know that we like to give away cool stuff all the time. But from January 24th to February 21st, we're going all out with one of our biggest contests ever. Thanks to Sony, you'll get a chance to win an awesome Sony prize pack worth nearly $5,000. It will include a QX100 lens style camera, the Xperia Z1S, a Sony Walkman Sports MP3 player, and a 55 inch 4K Bravia Ultra HD TV. Yep. Told you it was awesome. 
Okay, so how do you enter, you ask? Well, there are actually a number of different ways during the contest period. Keep this wiki page handy for the full details. You'll be able to enter via Twitter, Facebook, and by leaving comments on specific IGN articles and videos like this one. Just don't forget to add the hashtag BeMoved. The overall theme of the contest is artistry meets technology. What does that mean? We want you to tell us. We're looking for big ideas, ideas no one has ever thought about. Innovative, creative, artistic, technological. Each week of the contest, IGN will take a look at a big technology trend of 2014, and we want to hear your big ideas around them. If we're discussing 4K curved TVs, we want you to tell us what you think is next. Holograms, contact lens displays, let your imagination run wild. Don't forget, all the details can be found right here, and you can start entering this contest right now in the comments below this video on IGN. I'm Naomi Kyle, and thanks for watching.